Hi everyone, it's Laura and I'm back with another video. And uh, this time I am drawing in this mixed media sketchbook that I've had for a while and I will be doing the flea marker drawing challenge because I really do not use my markers a lot. <laughs> so this is my Jane Norman bag. Uh, a rarity at this point because there's no such thing as Jane Norman anymore. So first colour I picked out was Cyan? I can't pronounce it. Um, then it was antique pink and then I actually pulled out another antique pink so I put that back and then I pulled out a turquoise. So I feel like that's a good range of colours and I just swatched them a little bit just to see if they were still juicy. Oh that's a horrible word. To see if they were still um, not dried up. There we go, that's, that's the better term to use. And they seem fine. The blue was a little bit getting there. A lot of my pens, I just, because I don't use them as much, I don't feel like I need to replace them as much. But anyway, I actually do use them. I end up just noticing that they, a lot of them can be kind of dry. So maybe I just need to go through and just swatch all of them and just see. Anyway, I wrote out the names and then I just kind of started to think of what I could draw. and. I ended up just doing a portrait bust of, I guess, I don't know, an alien? Uh, I'm not totally sure to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of started sketching her out. I really like how I did the nose. And it, eventually, I, first I did uh, two eyes on the sketch but then I kind of thought well not kind of thought I saw that the other eye just wasn't really going well so I thought eye patch there we go so I gave her an eye patch so I don't know maybe she's like a pirate alien or something like that but I do like how this came out and um, the nose is probably my favorite point uh, part of the drawing So after I kind of sketched out, I then uh, drew over the sketch with my Pigma Micron pen. Um, I need to replace them as well because all of them are pushed in, which I noticed, which is a bit annoying. So that's another thing to get. All this, all these art things that I need to buy and get when really I can't really afford to do that. Well, not that I can't afford it, it's just you know, saving up for babies, that kind of thing. Maybe for my birthday. There we go, art supplies for birthdays, done. <laughs> but anyway, after I was quite happy with the sketch, I sketched, I drew it over it with black pen, then rubbed out the pen, and then just started to colour. For the skin, um, I don't know why, I just, I chose blue. The cyan can I don't know how do you say it? Cyan? I'm gonna say cyan. Uh, I went for cyan. I don't know why, I just immediately kinda was drawn to that one first. So I started kind of laying out where I wanted the shadows to be. I think originally I was just gonna go over like I would do one layer of blue and then I would go back and just gradually add more layers, but then I put the turquoise over it and that made it, it made it, it ugh, <laughs> that made it uh, go quite darker and create shadows that I quite liked, so I kept going with that. And for red, I just, I don't know, I did a random red streak, I didn't, I think I just wanted her hair and skin to be similar tones and then just that pop of red just to make it stand out. Was quite good and I put her eye also as turquoise as well. So as you can see you kind of just kept going back over the skin and gradually moving on to the hair. Um, I was just going to kind of leave the hair like that but then I did add a little bit of red just to make some shadows and make it a bit darker and pop it from the skin. And I do like how that turned out. 
So I continued with that, adding kind of more gradual shadows to the ends and kind of under the uh, the back of the hair, where it would be kind of hiding from the light. And then I went over the image with a 8.0 micron pen, just to make it pop a bit more, and I really like how uh, it turned out. And for the eye patch, I was originally just going to leave it white, but then I wanted to add this tiny bit more red. I didn't really know where else to put it, but then I thought, instead of just doing a red eye patch, I can make it a black eye patch with a heart on it. And I like how that was as well. And for the end, just to finish up the image, I used my Jelly Roll white pen as well, just to highlight the eye and some highlights in the hair and a little bit of the lips as well and the face. But yeah guys, this was my Fee Marker Challenge video. Um, I did one in the past but I just wanted to do another one you have a better camera set up than last time. And I hope you like how it turned out. I do like the finished image, I think it turned out quite well. And let me know if there's any other art challenges you would like me to do. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.